Right dead center. Over this way, please. Right hand, guys. Hi guys, Ross Purdy from AAP. Uh, this is a question for Billy, Dave and Steve. Stone Festival, the ethos of Stone Festival is about mateship and friendship. I just wonder if you three guys are friends and if you could kind of explain what your relationship is like. Well, we loved Van Halen in the beginning, but they got so big so fast that we offset each other on tour and we never saw him. I mean, uh, David. And then and Billy is, is my idol because he's been around forever and every time I turn the radio on, I hear him. So I'm, uh, you know, I'm an old fan of, of people that, of bands that write their own music, you know, for better or worse, whether we got a hit or not, whoever knows. Every once in a while, people hit on it, and they've been very successful in their career. And we've been just following them ever since, and I'm honored to meet them backstage. I haven't seen them in forever, but every time I look into their eyes, it's such a camaraderie that it knocks me over. So I love these guys. It's an interesting question. It's perhaps more articulate than uh, some might think. I must have watched your show when you closed the stadium no less than a dozen times. And I always refer to what Billy Joel is doing on stage with his musical dynamic and the arranging and so forth that he's been doing in terms of look how many folks he's working with. Listen to the loud and soft. Listen to the fast and slow. It's just doing that in rehearsal. I used to also work five 45-minute sets a night and play walk this way and fill that floor and pay <laughs> for years and that wasn't the only song okay I went to school at the College of Musical Knowledge the Aerosmith College of Musical Knowledge and uh, we were just also reflecting that even though we may not serve together we've all been trained in the same road work the same hotel mill the same uh, gutting that the uh, record companies or the various managements and agencies etc etc so even though we may not have played together we certainly got educated by the same, uh, same good guys and same gag guys I see myself reflected in their eyes. Uh, I've never met this guy. Uh, I have met Eddie uh, at a benefit for something in LA. He was really nervous. He didn't want to do it. He was throwing up backstage. But uh, my heart went out to him. I said, Eddie, it's going to be OK. It's going to be OK. Um, I'm happy to meet you. My pleasure. And uh, I tried to do the, the thing and jump where you, you, I split my pants. <laughs> I couldn't do the move. The guys in Aerosmith, we've run into each other often. We're from the same neck of the woods, Boston and New York, and uh, met them many, many times. And uh, uh, we're good, good friends. Steve, uh, anything that you'd like to be able to do now that you, you can't do anymore? Is it get high? Yeah. <laughs> and listen to records. Yeah, and listen to records. <laughs> Like we used to do. Um, I don't know. I can't do anymore. Now, that's the beauty of today. It's like, there's, other than that, we're just about doing it like we used to. We're really proud of it. What's it like when fans come up to you in the street or see you around? Is it different to how it was years ago? My personal experience in the crosswalk is like if, was, if I was walking with Billy, is that somebody would approach and go, first, always, they would say to him, Mr. Joel, thank you very much for your contribution to music and your steadfast uh, mentorship and a great example in the world of popular music. And then they would turn to me and go, Diamond Dave! <laughs> Stephen, you've made some references to your past drug days. Are the days of drugs and groupies completely behind you? David? Can we define groupie? <laughs> Young female fans who want to have sex. And how would you know that? <laughs> First off, at my age, sleeping with somebody half my age is no longer a felony. Let's get that out of the way. Well, I think that wraps it up perfectly.